welcome back to another video. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Me is so quick with the uploads. Intro's over. Subscribe before you go. Welcome back, it's me is so quick, and in today's video, I'm doing another set of press on nails. So I'm going in with these McCart clear tips that I love to use, and after I pick them out, I just go ahead and use some sticky tabs and place them on these little nail stands. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and buff away all the shine as well as file off the little plastic bit that hangs on the end. So today I'm going in with an Essie polish. Um, I didn't have any gel polish that was in beige. I'm gonna tell you right now this was a big mistake, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply that in a coat to several of these nails. So the polish is really thin, so I did have to kind of put it on there, let it dry, and then go back and add a second coat as you can see to try to build up that opacity. Okay, so my next plan was to actually go in with this Beatles gel polish that I love to use all the time. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this color 344, which is a black, and I'm gonna do these on a couple of the nails. I believe I did the index and the pinky nail. And for this, usually one coat is really um, fine, but I did wanna try to still increase the opacity, so I put it under the UV light, and then I took it out and applied a second coat as well. Now to start with the fun stuff, I took color 325 which is a white and then I took kind of a small brush and I'm just going to go ahead and apply some stripes down the center and kind of make like a T shape on my nails. I did notice that the white was not showing up as opaque as I wanted it so I had to keep dipping in and going back over it and trying to smooth it out so that it actually would look like how I wanted it to but it worked out fine. After I got my stripes straight down, like I said, I went in and did my stripes going across the nail to try to get a T-shape. Okay, and then once I got this, I went ahead and put those in the UV lamp, and that is where all the trouble began. So if you can see on that wax paper, I have a bunch of peelings, and that is because the gel polish did not stick to the SE polish, so then I went in and decided I'm gonna use my matte top coat, and I applied that directly to the SE beige color, So, and then I just did all the steps all over again, and that seemed to have worked better. I guess that the gel polish just needed a a better base and the matte base wind up being perfect so after I did that I went in with this black this 344 on a small striping brush and I began to actually paint little small lines so I would do three lines of black straight down and then three lines of black straight across on top of the white that I've already done I don't know if this was the best striping brush that I could have used. I probably should have took a longer one because as you can see, I cannot get the line to fully cross the whole nail. I had to keep stopping and like restarting. So I would suggest that you probably get a striping brush that's a little longer that could cover the whole base of the actual nail. Also want to say if you mess up, you know, it's already set. It's been set under the lamp. So for anything that's not set, just feel free to go ahead and grab some acetone or some nail polish remover and a cleanup brush and do your best to try to clean up your lines. I got to say I was already over it after I had did the whole polish and nothing stuck and then I had to take it off and do it again. But I still stuck with it because I really wanted to get this video out. So once I had these black stripes done, I went ahead and put that under the lamp to cure. And then I'm gonna go in with this red color to start with the other lines. This is color 330. It's not a super opaque red. It's kind of even a little bit transparent if you want it. But that was actually fine for when I looked at the patterns. Um, for the most part, it didn't look like the red was super, super vibrant. So just as I did with the black, I took the same striping brush, and like I said, you, I would suggest a longer one, but I took the same striping brush and I did the same steps just with the red, and as you can see, I had to keep going over the same lines, which in my case, it really doesn't help when you're trying to make a straight line that's so tiny to have to keep going back over and over. It would have been better with just one swoop if I was able to cover the nail. But anyway, I did the same thing. I made two lines instead of three. Some Burberry patterns online, I don't know, made it look like it was just only one red line um, crossing perpendicular with the black and the white and others I saw with two stripes. So who knows? But 
that was the pattern I was trying to get. I was trying to create some Burberry or just some plaid nail designs. So that's what it's looking like. And just like with the black, I'm going to go ahead and go across. I'm just picking a random spot anywhere actually on this nail just to go ahead and drag those red smaller lines across the nail. Ooh, and do you guys remember when Burberry was just like the thing? Was that like the late 90s or I think it was even like early 2000s and everybody wanted Burberry or had knockoff Burberry scarves and hats and belts? No, you don't remember? It's okay, I don't either. <laughs> okay, and after I've let the red cure under the lamp, I'm going to go in again with a matte top coat to just seal everything in. And this wind up working perfectly fine. So um, I would say that, you know, not every design requires you to work with gel polish, but I honestly do prefer it. And if you're ever going to mix gel polishes with regular polish, I guess sometimes they actually do need either your top shiny coat or your actual top matte coat just to seal it in so that the gel polish that you could use on top will actually adhere to it. Okay, so those black nails I had did, I had decided to make those matte as well. And to finish off this set, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and add some jewels. So I'm taking my rhinestone glue gel that you can see. It's just a little cheap thing I got off of Amazon. And I'm going to go ahead and just place a nice little dollop of this right around the cuticle area. And then I'm going to use my little wax pen to pick up a circular gold gem that I have I don't know what to call it but you guys can see it right there on the camera so I go ahead and place this and I use the other side um, just to kind of go ahead and pat this all in and make sure that it's not gonna move and then after that I decided okay I want to actually go ahead and place a shiny little crystal in the center of this and so that's what I went ahead and did here once I let that cure, this is what my final set looks like, okay? Please excuse the thumb. The thumb was, came out super textured after I tried to take the polish off the first time because I didn't want to do a whole new nail, all right? But that is what the final nails look like. And I think they still actually came out pretty cute. As I said, I do need to get a little bit better on my line work, but I think that it's definitely going to come with a better striping brush. So I'm going to just look. I have a bunch of brushes, so I just need to go ahead and look through those. But thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to go ahead and hit the subscribe button or hit the like. And also follow me on Instagram. I'm a newbie, but I'm sure to be sharing content on there as well. Bye.